It's 8 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day Orlando. A game changer for some couples. Experts think that within the next five to ten years, it could be possible for men to have a baby. Carry a baby, deliver a baby, all of it. Coming up next, we're going to speak to a local fertility doctor about the new development that could possibly become reality. On the Health Watch this morning, recently the Cleveland Clinic announced that it is performing uterus transplant surgery for some women. That led to some people to wonder if they can transplant a uterus into a man, and if so, can a man give birth? The answer is yes. A doctor from the University of Southern California says it can be a reality in about five to ten years and maybe even sooner. Dr. Mark Charles with Fertility Care joins us now to talk about this. My first question is why? <laughs> why? why? Guys always say, oh, I wish I could take this pain from you. Now you can, so you better watch your mouth, right? Well, it's the first that I know of, the first non-vital transplant. You know, you have kidney, you have heart, right. lung. This is a uterus. And last year was the first report of a woman. They used a, a live donor, a woman mm -hmm. in her 60s, donated to a woman, and they re-implanted a uterus. She went to term, uh, actually preterm, and she had a baby. This isn't an easy thing. I mean, for even for a woman, uh, they have to have major surgery to re-implant the uterus to make sure that the blood supply is all there. They then have to be on powerful anti-suppressant medications uh, to prevent rejection of the, of the organ. Mm -hmm. Then they get cesarean section, right? And then they have to remove the uterus uh, after one or two children. So this is not a cakewalk. And you have to ask yourself, you have autonomy for the person's choice, mm -hmm. but also you have to have do no harm. Right. And there are people that would argue. Yeah. Would, would this be a case of the woman's not able to conceive for whatever reason, and they want to have a child between them, right? They want it to be their child, genetically, whatever. Is that a case where you would see a man maybe doing this? Because I don't know a lot of other reasons why the guy would do this, well, right? The prediction, the prediction for a man is, is actually for the transgender patient, okay. the, the male to female transgender. These are uh, uh, women uh, who have received hormones uh, to convert themselves into a, mm -hmm. a woman. Uh, they have uh, uh, creation of a neo-vagina, they call it, which is not easy to do either. And that vagina then has to meet with a uterus that's been implanted. So that's the patient. It's the male to female transgender. Uh, they're going to have to be on hormones. Uh, so the big challenge is also the vagina meeting the uterus uh, and cervix uh, to be able to monitor the pregnancy. Uh, but that's the prediction that so could happen. Really, this wouldn't be a case where uh, a man like myself, right, wouldn't go in for this, right, because you'd have to have everything else done along well, I, the way, correct? I think correct? you would because you're daring, but, <laughs> right. but I think for, for uh, other people, no. Well, because of the hormones that you're going to be on. The, the transgender patient is going to be receiving these hormones to be able to do that. Mm. Uh, but for, for uh, a, uh, a man that is, is uh, like yourself, uh, that wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't applicable. Work. Okay. All right, Dr. Charles, what's your website in case people want to check you out? Uh, www.theivfcenter.com. All right. Always great to see you. Appreciate you being here. Like the new hairdo, by the way. Appreciate it, John. You, it's cold, though, outside. Yeah. You know this now, don't yeah. you? Yeah. All right. 815 here. Jamie King, take it away. All righty, guys. Accu